So just when you thought the Democrats, they couldn't be in, involved in any more scandals, Fox News tonight confirming that the FBI is investigating Pennsylvania Congressman Bob Brady for allegedly paying off his Democratic primary opponent in 2012 and then lying to federal investigators. Not a good idea. According to the charges, Brady secretly paid 90 grand for his opponent, Jimmy Moore, to drop out of the race. And Moore and his former campaign manager have already pled guilty to concealing the payments. Additionally, two aides for Brady have been indicted. Sounds like Democrats love rigging elections more than anything else. We reached out to Brady's attorney for comment. Shockingly, we haven't heard back. Here was reaction. Salem, nationally syndicated radio host Larry Elder, Fox News correspondent at large, Geraldo. Hillary rigged the election according to primary. We, according to Donna Brazil, she tried to rig it with the fusion GPS, you know, propaganda lies dossier about hookers and a, and a Ritz-Carlton with Trump in Moscow, Geraldo. I mean, what is it with Democrats rigging elections now? Isn't it, uh, isn't it nice, uh, Sean, to have a good old uh, political corruption story rather than all those icky sex scandals we've been hearing about <laughs> for the last several weeks? It's insane. Uh, you know, uh, you, I, I've you never seen anything like with, it in my uh, life. Stealing $90,000. <laughs> no, well, you know, this guy, Brady, he's, he's not just any Democrat. He's, he's the head of the Philadelphia machine. He's a very, very important person. He's the ranking member of the uh, Committee on House Administration. He is the biggest ward healer, old style, gregarious, six foot two inch Irish Italian, son of a cop, back slapper, uh, very popular. Uh, uh, but he feared an opponent uh, running in a plurality black district, a black man running. So he engineered a scheme, allegedly, or uh, some believe he's not charged yet. He just had a search warrant executed against him. Engineered a scheme whereby they couldn't just give the uh, the uh, the insurgent candidate 90 grand. So they created fake businesses. They tried to launder the money. Three of his uh, associates, uh, the congressman's associates, were involved. One has already turned. States evidence. He's so just he's basically heap, taking Hillary's trouble, Sean. Let me sum it up into this. He basically is taking Hillary <laughs> Clinton's you know, right out of a, a page out of her book, Larry. News bulletin: uh, Democrats cut corners in in campaign races. How about Harry Reid going to the floor of the Senate in the 2012 race and saying the word on the street is that Mitt Romney hasn't paid taxes? And then when Harry Reid retired, he was asked about this by CNN, and he said, "Well." He didn't win, did he? How about Donna Brazile getting the debate questions to Hillary ahead of time? I mean, come on. <laughs> Democrats cut corners, shockingly. Yeah, shocking. You know, the thing is... But Larry, you don't for a second pretend that it's just the one party involved. I mean, there's plenty of this to go around. Uh, you know, uh, the Republicans are the principal engineers of the gerrymandering, the rigging these districts so they get uh, they maximize the impact of the state vote. Listen, there's plenty of sleaze to go around. What is interesting in this case yeah. is that this is truly one of the giants of the old-style Democratic urban machine. You know, Philly, Philly's rotten. I mean, since 2000, had 30-plus Democrats have been indicted, uh, you know, jailed. Uh, uh, the other congressman, 11-termer, uh, uh, he went down. He's in jail now. So, uh, you Carole, know, this is, this is following a House of Cards pattern. Larry? Geraldo, going to the floor of the Senate, as Harry Reid did, uh, as leader of the Senate and saying the word in the street is Mitt Romney hasn't paid taxes, knowing full well it wasn't true, that's on a whole nother level. Stealing the debate questions and getting them to Hillary ahead of time and therefore shafting Bernie Sanders, that's on a whole nother level. If there has been a comparable thing the Republicans have done, tell me about it. But Who is it? Geraldo, how, how about Hillary disenfranchising, disenfranchising black voters? How about disenfranchising Larry? black voters? By rigging, you, you, mean, you mean the Listen, way Al Gore I'm tried not, to do? I'm he, not. You, my you, you point is this: Gore, it's just on, like the sex on, You mean the way Al Gore tried to get those military ballots dismissed like that? <laughs> yeah, like that. You know, wait, but, but wait, that's exactly what you, you say. Make, but you Geraldo, make my, when you <laughs> when you say that. I, this is a narrative I reject, that Republicans are racist. I resent it. I re, I, it happens every two, every four years. Here's the problem. You know, to get into the Democratic National Convention that we both go to every four years, guess what? You need a picture ID, the Democratic Convention. Sean, the, the, my, my feeling about political corruption and I think that in one sense you're right. I think that urban 
old style party uh, Tammany Hall type politicians maybe are more prone, prone to or more used to being corrupt. But my feeling about corruption is the same as my feeling about these sex harassment scandals. There's plenty to go around for everybody, right, left, You, you can't red, give me a blue. modern day example uh, this is a of Republicans rigging a pro They rigged it. Every Democrat that liked Bernie Sanders, the, the commie socialist he is, God bless him, their vote should count. The whole thing was rigged from the get go. She controlled it all, and she tried to do it, Larry, in the, in the general <laughs> election by paying for Russian lies and propaganda. How ironic, considering the well, last year of Trump-Russia nonsense. And how about the fact that Juanita Broderick made allegations 25 years ago, nobody cared. Now all of a sudden, the Clintons are no longer in power. It's okay to throw them under the bus. What about that hypocrisy? What about Kathleen Willey saying that Bill Clinton basically did something inappropriate in the Oval Office, and then a couple of days later, uh, one of the nation's top feminists, Gloria Steinem, writes a piece in the New York Times and says, well, even if you believe what Kathleen Willey says, it's not sexual harassment because when she told him to stop, he stopped. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. This is the principle into which the left twisted themselves 30 to defend years, the Clintons. 30 years of abusing these women, Geraldo. I, I think that what President Clinton did, and you and I have had this argument before, Sean. Yeah, 10 He's seconds. a man whose entire life was raked over the coals. I'm talking about All Bill right. Clinton. He was impeached, dishonored, oh, disbarred. We will pick I mean, this what up. What do you want to we do?